And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dragon Rally, our next meme tier Monday deck. So what we got going on here is we have a, a Dragon deck and it looks, you know, we got a pretty normal looking Dragon deck with some, you know, a bunch of like kind of regular Demacia cards. Um, but what we have at the top end is really what makes this deck special. So we're going to be playing three copies of Dragon Guard Lookout, this awesome six drop that whenever I'm summoned, if you behold a dragon, rally. You know, so we can get our extra attacks with our Dragon Guard Lookout. Now we're gonna, we're gonna pair that with Ionia so that we get to play Go Get It. So we can recall an ally to summon an exact ephemeral copy in its place. And it summons a copy and this is a summon ability. So we can go get it, our Dragon Guard Lookout, put the new copy in and rally. And uh, then, then of course, you uh, reduce its cost to zero, as you know, so then we get to attack, and then we can uh, spend zero mana, play our new Dragon Guard Lookout, or you know, like the first one again, rally again, and so we can get a bunch of attacks in one turn. Um, you know, like imagine if we have, imagine if we have like 10 mana in both go get it's, we could have five attacks in one turn. We could have our regular attack, and then go get it, um, you know, with the, the ephemeral copy, get an additional attack, zero mana, replay it get an additional attack bounce again with go get it get an additional attack zero mana replay it get an additional attack so you, we could have five attacks in one turn <laughs> i don't know why how they wouldn't be dead yet um in that scenario but that's something that we could have which would be pretty crazy um we're also playing fey guide in here because you know dragons should be able to fly right like we should we should be able to have flying dragons so we're gonna have some fey guides in here give some dragons elusive um like shivana with elusive could be really cool of course we're playing zed in here too zed with elusive would be really cool um so yeah we're gonna have some flying dragons all right our egghead researchers make some more dragons we got some challengers with lieutenant and fleet feather tracker bright steel protector can also help protect those challengers also bright steel protector protecting zed can be good um at times also being able to attack with that with protection so and then we also have like the one stalking brood mother at the top end because stalking brood mother uh, this could go really well with Fey Guide also, right? Like if you can have the Broodmother in play, you Fey Guide that, give give the Broodmother elusive. Now you have a Scout with elusive, and that can be pretty crazy. So got that one up there too. All right, so we're going to have Dragon Rally. That's, that's what we're calling this deck. We're going to just go play our five games in normal. And uh, let's try to rally some dragons. Okay, now we're playing another another Teemo deck, this one with Freljord. And we played that Teemo deck earlier with Demacia. <clears throat> Let's mulligan the Deny against the Freljord deck. Um, and I'll keep this curve. I'm not sure if, like, Egghead Researcher... No, maybe a mulligan Egghead Researcher. Like, I don't know if, like, this card really does much. It, you know, it, it summons a dragon, but, you know, we just don't really need the 1-3 blocker. Let's go ahead and mulligan it, because I feel like I feel like a card like Sharp Sight could be really important. Blocking Teemo. I guess I do have the, the Fey guy that grants elusive anyway. But yeah, I'm just gonna get some other cards. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you, Mafia Play. I think it, that um, Broodmother is underrated. I agree. All right, cool. We got Egghead Researcher to create the dragon, and. And then we will behold a dragon. But first, I'm going to have Zed with Sharp Sight back up. I don't want them, you know, mystic shotting my Zed. I want to be able to have protection for Zed. <laughs> we got our dragons. Without a sound. So they're a Poro deck. So this this could be like a Professor Von Yip deck. We see through all. And I'm not going to play Sharp Sight to block the 1-1. One, one. I will play Sharp Sight to not die there. Alright. I'll just go right to attacks. Oh, got another Zed. Oh. 
All right, let's go Egghead Researcher. Egghead Researcher with Zed's Shadow Shift. It's kind of a combo. Put the Researcher back in your hand so you can get another Dragon Follower. Ooh, the Imperion. That could go great with our Dragon Guard Lookout. And White Flame Protector. Got some dragons. Kitty Dexterity with the cheers. Tremble before the winter's claw. Bring in the hype. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity. Love this card. Scar Maiden Reaver. Otherworldly. Awesome card. I wish I wish that the Okay, so y'all know um Smooth Soloist. Seven mana bilge water, three four elusive, that it makes all of the units in your hand and your deck cost two less. I wish that made units everywhere cost two less. Right? Like so you play your egghead you have your smooth soloist, you play your egghead zero uh, researcher for zero, you create your dragon, now your dragon costs two less. Also, I wish that's that's how that card worked. Best of turns against the Scar Maiden Reaver. Let's give Zed Elusive. Wow, that thing's scary. Oh, Sumpork's map? Oh no, they're going. They're elusiving my elusives. Huh. I thought I was cool with the elusives. Use Soloist with Katarina for infinite attacks. That sounds pretty cool, though, right? Yeah, that still sounds like that should be a cool combo. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get we're gonna get out elusived. We're getting out elusived. We feast tonight, Bard. Things are pretty awesome when they're elusive. What's this attack? I'm attacking with things that can't do anything else but attack, basically. So they're at eight. I need because I need them to block with these elusive so they can get smaller so that then I can fight them. Seven seven. Because so, I really need them to block with this like this thing. Like this thing just kills me. This this alpha over, alpha. Claw, Alpha Wild Claw. That, that thing kills me. Fine day to be in the field, eh, soldier? Maybe we'll get to see a dragon up close. I think they got me. Yep. All right, we got out elusive. Yeah, I really wish I didn't use the sharp sight when I did. I wish I would have just let the Zed die because then we drew another Zed and would have had sharp sight with like all that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. So go get or so uh, they who endure is kind of a weird deck to play against because you don't want their things to die because you don't want to make they who endure super big, but they put a lot of pressure on you and you need their things to die. And so it's just a, a big catch-22. Thanks, Simkarti. Thank you so much. Whoa, so we've got 50,000 channel points I'm going to lose? That's a lot. You're covered. So how the, how the, yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to try to win, but how the channel point thing works 
is uh, you you don't gain channel points. Um, so like, you know, the person bet fifty thousand on the loss, they can only win two thousand because that's how much was was bet on the win, right? Like, like that's how that works. You can't just win fifty thousand. Like he could have bet ten thousand and it would have been the exact same as the fifty thousand bet. But yeah, kind of donating channel points. There you go. Uh, this is, man. I want to wait on Fey Guide until Broodmother. But I also am just kind of not playing anything this turn. All right, got some Screeching Dragons. So we go Broodmother, and then we Fey Guide it and rally. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, Noob Loco. What's that noise? Yeah, so it, it you can't all all it does is like whenever you like if you bet loss and I lose, then all the channel points for the people that won get transferred over to the people that lost and, and proportionally, you know, proportionally on depending on how much you bet. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. No We're gonna do that. We're gonna take five. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize it did that at first either. At first, I thought it just you know like uh, you always got the channel points in one for one. I want to keep them from drawing the two cards. It doesn't matter which which one I single combat. It doesn't really matter. Mother, this next turn. And then we can have like Fey Guide my my next turn, and then we'll also have a lookout. I'm just gonna pass. I could do some challenging on like little one ones, but yeah, see like those little one ones are gonna die anyway. Or they get replaced, sorry. They get replaced so they don't die. So I don't want... With They Who Endure, I don't really want things to die. So Crescent Garden was created by Unspeakable Horror, of course, because they're not playing Targon. Making their attack pretty poor. They're still gonna send it on in there. So let's see. Let's go block. 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 Means I lose four life. I really have to block with you. Um, I think I, cause I, I think I want to single combat and kill the Neverglade Collector. So, Noob Loco, how many channel points do you have then?
Okay, let's do Scout Attack. The Elusive Scout. I'm going for the one turn kill. Maybe I should have gone Bright Seal Protector on the Screeching Dragon first. I guess I probably should have. Yeah, I guess I should have, but oh well. We won't be caught unaware. That's just 21 damage. All elusive. That'll do. Alright, one and one. Yeah. Fiora Garen. So, so they're going with Targon. This could be like elites. This, you know, this could be a lot of things. This could be like a really spell heavy deck focused on Fiora. I have the combo with with Go Get It, Dragon Guard Lookout. So I think we're gonna just keep all these. Now the Egghead Researcher isn't really good against Fiora TBH because it, it dies and they don't need to use a spell. But I still want to keep it. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. Cadrogen. Oh yeah, get that damage in. Look at that, 19. Ooh, that's gonna be tough for them to overcome. That early pressure of one damage. My dragon's laughing about it. We speak with blades. For the honor of Hushrimi. Does it work? Did we get him? Oh, that's a lot of research. That's a big researcher. My researcher's got, got some pretty big muscles. Uh, Shivana. Have I tried out of the way with sparring student duo and hatchling yet? I have not. What's hatchling? Student duo is green glade duo. So sparring student, green glade duo. I do like both of those with out of the way. I haven't tried it yet though, but what's... Um, what's Hatchling? Stay hidden. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save go get it for for the lookout. I never hold back. Oh God. No, if if you do a donation deck today, I won't be playing it today. No, I, I already have I already have the schedule for the decks for today. Um, I, I basically never do donation decks the exact same day. Break them. I'm probably not supposed to attack we'll with Bay Guide as well. We always do, Anna. I'm pretty sure they just die by playing that. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Unless they got something cool with this one mana. I don't get to do the cool go get it rally, but. There are none like me. There we go. Dragon rally. Dragons have no remorse. Oh, sweet. Will I win? Letting y'all bet here in Twitch. What are we playing against? We're playing against Swain and Yasuo. You can see our opener. Um, I, we're going to keep the Researcher. Definitely keeping Fake. We're going to keep Researcher and Sharp Sight. Um, it's, you know, basically, do I want to keep one Fake Guide or not? Um, we have seen the Fake Guide do 
some good work so far, but I think I can, we have the three of them. I think, or, oh no, there's only two of them in this deck, actually. Oh well, I'll send them back. This is a good looking dragon hand. Look like a normal dragon deck. Oh, I should probably protect his head again. this one bit. Can't stop the flock. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. They are nothing. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Um, okay. I could. <clears throat> yeah, we could fight that right there, but I don't think we necessarily need to immediately. Let's do that. That will almost level up Shivana. We'll push Shivana down to two. I could see them playing like a stun card here. If they do like a stun card on the Shivana, then we'll then we'll fight and kill Yasuo. Okay, no stun card. There's stun card. So that won't kill Shivana anymore. I still kind of want to just fight Yasuo and kill Yasuo, and then if I do that, then they won't get their 3-2 either. I guess I don't do that, though, because Screeching Dragon is going to be a 4 fight. Yeah, I guess I just don't do it. Even though I want to. You know, they have all that mana to respond. Oh, let's have like both of these available. Anything to the right coin. Guess that's one way to do it. A dragon's Maybe that would have worked out better just playing the, the lookout and then challenging instead of using the single combat. I'm something of an it's gonna stun the egghead researcher, that's the yeah, things are different. Um, that's the weakest follower. It'd be nice to be able to play Zed and Dragon Guard Lookout. We'll put them down to four. Because, see, I, I play Lookout, I have my 3 1 challenge here, and then I do five, six, seven, eight damage. The problem with that is we put them down to four, but the next turn they play Swain. And then what do I do against Swain? Do not fear the shrouded path. I don't really have a good answer to that question. Okay, now we do. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Fine day to be in the feet, eh, hey, soldier? Maybe we'll get to see a dragon up close. This is gonna be 
be a 9-3 now. Really soon they're playing Swain. So I think I have to kill Swain actually. Usually you kill Leviathan, but I think I'm in the position where I have to kill Swain. I do go down to two. And I basically have to open attack and kill them. Because I'm basically thinking... Because I think I, I challenge the Blade Twirler. So I can't let them attack with Swain and kill all my stuff. Because, right, like... Because this 9-3, this like, I have to block that 9... You know, like, I have to kill that 9-3, quick attack. None of these things can block. If I let them keep Swain alive, Swain attacks and kills me and kills all my stuff. So this is me taking 8 damage. We take 5 here, we take 3 at the beginning of the turn. So I go down to 2. So it's not great. I mean, it's not a lethal attack if I just attack right now. No, House Spider is the worst. Because I need them to play like one thing, and I challenge that one thing with the Dragon Guard Lieutenant, and I force their Leviathan to block my Cadrogen. But House Spider, they could just get to block with the 1 1. And then, then, then this damage kills me. Wow. Of course, any, any stun card, though, you right? Like, I was like dead to a stun card. I was dead to like tons and tons of things. House Spider was one of them. And just the damage at the beginning of the turn. So we're 2-2 two and two with our Dragon Rally. Looks like we're playing against Championless Undying for the fifth and final game, trying to make it a 3-2. and two. So we're going to have the attack token on turn 3 with a Z. That's, that's a first. The question is, like, what are we keeping with that and I think the answer is everything I think the answer is everything oh yeah our last two decks of the day elusive henchman and snap find overwhelm both of those are definitely very meme -y. so you love meme tier decks these last two are going to be for you, for sure. So I'm thinking that Sharp Sight kind of helps protect Zed. Um, they're going to give Zed Vulnerable. That's like the big thing about their deck is they give like Vulnerable a bunch. And I'm hoping like Bright Steel Protector can help against that. Uh, the Vulnerable also helping. Uh, sorry, hoping. Also hoping. Like maybe if, if we don't have time to play Bright Steel Protector with the attacking, we have the Concerted Strike. They can keep Zed alive. And just kind of keep attacking with Zed. See, there's the vulnerable. Because they don't get to—they don't get to block. Uh, because their card they just played was Burst. So since it's Burst B, it happens before blockers. My shield is yours. <laughs> I like the little dancing minion. I don't actually have another dragon, do I? Or a dragon. I guess it doesn't... It's not turn six yet, so I guess it doesn't matter. Next turn, we'll have a Dragon Guard lookout with our go get it. 
a little time. Now we got a dragon. All right, not gonna let that happen. Unfortunately, I don't. Man, now I don't have sharp sight available to go along with the dragon guard lookout. All right, so I'm just gonna let that Zed die and play new Zed. New Zed that's not all vulnerable. Without a sound. Stop killing my Zed. Yeah, they're they're probably a little frustrated because yeah, every I just have like the the card to foil their plan. Okay, they they need some blockers. I got them some blockers. Cool, no vengeance. Glad they didn't vengeance Zed. Fine day to be in the feet, eh, soldier? Maybe we'll get to see a dragon. And we got a dragon rally. Oh. Well, that's not game over. Into darkness. I'll follow where I can. That's not game over. Not yet. We'll be pretty soon with our go get it. Ooh, we can have even more dragon rallies. Yeah, I mean now it's. How can I stay away? All right, so we could play Dragon Guard Lookout, but I think I should go get it. The I think I should go get it. This Dragon Guard Lookout because we haven't done this cool combo yet. So let's let's do our cool combo because we haven't done it yet. There they are. Ready yourselves. I'm gonna play the other one and rally again. I want more attacks. <laughs> no, we didn't get to. I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> they just they just took it, took the damage, didn't let me uh, kill them in style with even more attacks. So we got our, our cool combo to happen there that last game with Go Get It and the Dragon Guard Lookout beholding the dragon and rallying and that's our deck dragon rally but overall i think our deck was pretty good you know like it was just a nice good dragon deck where we had zed as just another really good attacker um you know like sharp sight was was definitely really good for us of doing some protect protection and stuff um fey guide was pretty cool being able to grant some things elusive you know like fey guide says four mana but really it's something for like turn eight you know like after you have some other expensive cards um, unless you're getting the fake or unless you're fake guiding the Zed right away. Um, but yeah, I think our, our deck works pretty well. I was, I was happy with it. Dragon Guard, Dragon Guard Lookout's underrated. This, you know, three, five plus attack again. I think this is how you make Rally really powerful. Because I've never really liked Relentless Pursuit, as y'all know. Um, with it just being a spell for allowing you to attack again. Um, but this is, you know, a card that allows you to attack again, but also puts a three, five body into play. So it can also help stabilize. So if you're behind, it, it doesn't. It's not just kind of useless. Like rat, like relentless pursuits, useless whenever you're behind on board. This can actually stabilize, get you the extra attack. Maybe you have one thing you want to attack with. 
you know, so it's good and it's all it's obviously great if you're ahead right because if you're ahead you get that extra attack and it's just amazing um, just like relentless pursuit is but then it's also uh you know useful if you're behind all right so there's the, there's our deck dragon rally those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well i'd really appreciate that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video